Hey trainers, we're just going to do a quick um, talk through programming next week because we're going to be experimenting with multiple stations and how we're going to work strength. So I'm going to highlight that word again, experimenting. So this may not go well, so we'll depend on your feedback, but this is kind of the thoughts. So we're going to start with Monday. Nicole's filming. She's just going to come in and show you Monday. Of course, you guys have access to this. It's the two AMRAPs and I'll talk you through that. But essentially what our thoughts are is you're gonna have um, go through the warm up. People will be in their squares. You're gonna have half the class do the AMRAP with the pull ups first. Then you have a three minute rest break, and then you'll have the uh, other half of the class will be in the first one. We'll be doing the hang power snatch and the overbar burpees. So you'll have some moving in and out of squares and some in squares for their whole workout. So the hang power snatch burpees can be in squares the whole time. Obviously the pull-ups can't. We're gonna to have to experiment with this, but my, my guess is the best thing's gonna do is do square rotation on the rest break as well. So have your pull-up people in the first, be in the squares closest to the rig, and then um, have your snatch people in the back. Take the three minutes, and it can be longer than three minutes, obviously. So it's just a minimum of three minutes. Get everything cleaned up, rotate squares, and get ready to go. Um, so that's how we're gonna try that. And then we're also gonna do some experiments with strength. So I'm gonna have Nicole point at both Tuesday and Thursday. So Tuesday's back squat and power clean with a five minute EMOM. Thursday is bench press and deadlift with a six minute AMRAP. And so I think you should use about 15 minutes on each lift. And so the way that'll look is very similar to the um, to the pull-up situation. So both of those require, so Wednesday or Tuesday has one lift that requires a rack and one that does not. And Thursday has one lift that requires the rack and one that does not. So on Monday, you'll be have part of your class back squatting out of the racks. And you'll have part of your class um, doing power cleans in their square. 15 minutes each take a rest time, they can keep their bars, so there'll be a little bit of plate cleaning, um, but they can move their bar to their square from the back squat rack and vice versa, they don't have to clean those, and, and then they switch. So that's gonna be a little bit of a, probably a mess, but just see how it goes. Um, and the same thing is true on Thursday, you're gonna have some people in the racks doing bench and then some people in their squares doing deadlift. Um, the rep schemes are really, it's just four, four sets and they're not super heavy, they're five. So remember that's about 70, 75%. Um, and so they should be able to get that done relatively quickly. It's really just an experiment. We want them to get strength training, but we're really not super worried about the result. We're just worried about what we do. And then you have those short workouts at the end. So you can see how that goes. So we're gonna need feedback on that. Um, just going to double check the program. I think everything else is going to be fine. We have wall balls on um, Friday. And so I will have, by Friday, I'm going to have X's on the ground in front of wall ball targets for nine different stations. So you'll know exactly where people need to stand to do their wall balls. And I'm going to do a, a gym video after this what, that's going to address... Um, some of these things to everybody in the gym, but you know, I'm in communication with Matt and you guys are seeing the news. This is definitely happening again. It's just going right back through the roof. And you know, I'm not super worried about our health because we're all healthy and the health of our members. But what I am worried about is us being closed again because people are just going crazy out there. So it's really, really important that we're setting the example for our people through what we're talking them through in the gym with coming in the front door, going out the roll-up door. I've already had a bunch of issues with that and it's not because people are blowing it off. They're just so used to running in and out of the roll-up, they just do it. Um, keeping their social distance bubble, really um, standing away from one another, not walking into one another, not congregating. A lot of people are just acting like the cubbies are good to go, which they can put stuff in there to store but they need to get all their stuff and take it to their square and then it stays there until they're done and then they can put it back. And I guess lastly, 
is just that general awareness that if they're going to move back into the office for whatever reason, to get a bike, to go to the bathroom, to get put something in their cubby, that they should wait till people are out of there. And it just takes longer and they're just going to have to take longer. But it's obvious now that, you know, our relief that quarantine is over is, is, uh, was a red herring. So we got a long ways to go on this. And the best thing that we can do is really, really enforce our standards as best that we can. Nicely, tactfully, but you know, we have to enforce it. So thanks.